Hi, this is Fiends Genesis for FiendsGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Fiends Genesis and Fry Camp. Sorry the video is a little dark, but I've got my hammock hung in my living room. Uh, my favorite place to chill out. Uh, and nice uh, cloudy afternoon. Uh, my boyfriend Steve's still on vacation. We're going to actually go cut some Tyvek at Lowe's and um, do a couple other things. But I want to show you really quickly... Um, you know, you don't need some expensive six, seven, eight hundred dollar Cuban fiber tent to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. See this uh, right here? This is a nine to ten dollar, uh, depending, I guess, with tax. Uh, uh, aluminum foil, mylar, space blanket, tube tent from Walmart. Uh, I took this uh, on the Pacific Crest Trail in 2016 in the Sierras. It hailed and rained for a week, and I was fine. I was warm and toasty, no condensation, and I didn't even bother hanging it up with a ridge line. See here, you can see I actually have a uh, paracord, 550 paracord ridge line. I just, I just uh, crawled in it like a burrito, and I was totally fine. Um, though some uh, ground squirrels, I named them uh, Chippendale. That was their trail names. Did rip it so. Uh, uh, you know, this is kind of fragile. Be careful with it. Um, you know, don't leave it out. If you're not in it, then fold it up, put it away. Uh, and this works just as a, uh, if you're fast packing, this works just as your main shelter, completely waterproof, or you can use it um, to kind of slide as a tube over your hammock. You don't want this kind of, um, you know, material to actually touch your skin because that will kind of cause condensation. You want it as close to you to reflect 95% of your body heat but not touching and I like it too because um, one side of it is see-through one side two sides I think are not so I can kind of angle it if I want to see through to give me more coverage to see what's out there or I can just uh, if I want more privacy I can pull it down and have it completely covered so there you can't see through uh, then uh, I was gonna say another thing um, I like hammocks and hammocks are good even if you uh, want to go to ground because uh, I have these uh, sub six, which I really don't like. It's five ounces. That's the advantage. But an ultralight isn't always uh, very good because the fact that my feet kept falling out of it, my feet were cold. And if you see here, the uh, 8.5 ounce uh, super sub gives me uh, that little bit of extra coverage as a windbreak. And I can flip this over and make this a double layered tent now with this material and with this. So I've got my waterproofing and I've got my uh oh there's a cat a couple of cats running around there uh, my cat and this is wind breaking which is really nice and then last but not least oh and this is going to run you this is a bit pricey for this hammock uh this is an eno uh and it's made out of parachute material i took this on the northern california part of the pacific crest trail love this hammock this is going to run you about uh 90 so it is a little pricey but well worth the investment um, and of course this will rip too if you're not really careful with it so be careful um, now I have two different um, you know throws I have a uh, I have an under quilt made by Western uh, Mountaineering and that's a $285 quilt not everyone can afford that I used it as an over and an under quilt it's spectacular uh, it's super super warm um, I don't like it as an overquilt because it's got all the straps as an underquilt and it kind of got um, tangled when I was sleeping. So I just used this packable Costco down throw. Now, this is really cheap. But when it was on sale, it was like $15. I seam ripped it, makes it extra puffy and warm, releases more down. Now, if you are going to um, order, say, an Enlightened Equipment quilt, which um, that's fine and dandy if you want to spend the money on that, uh, I prefer Western Mountaineering. It's it's more pricey but it's warmer uh, but if you are gonna get an enlightened equipment quilt I recommend get the widest one possible because it gives you the ability to regulate your heat um, depending on how hot and cold for example this is you know these Costco packable ones uh, they come in a wide size and all you have to do is I mean people don't realize this just double it over you just take it and fold it in half because it is wide enough um, now you've got now you've got a you take your 32 degree quilt see here just um keeping it in its normal fluff that's that takes me down to about 30 32 degrees when i fold this over now i've got a 20 degree quilt and it's still keeping me there's enough coverage that uh it's not there's no draft down here i'm completely covered so now i've got 
twice the loft and twice the temperature to keep me warm. Uh, last but not least, another little trick is get a six ounce ounce cotton schmog. They wear these in the military. Uh, they're also very stylish now as well. This is the uh, Swiss Army knife of cotton. It's got like 101 uses. Look it up. But um, not only does it make a great little pillow in your hammock or under your legs to um, so you don't get any calf ridge on your knees, but also if you fold this out, it's 42 by 42 inches and it makes a nice blanket to go over the quilt so that traps in um, more of the heat and protects you from the uh, wind in your hammock. So if you've got, if you've got the schmog covering you and then you pulled um, this over you and then you've got this. I mean, you're super toasty. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be dry and warm and bu also bug free. You don't need like mosquito netting. I do have that three ounce mosquito suit I carry. You can see that in the description. If um, But if with all this covering, if I have a bug net, I'm fine. Um, and I have a schmog. I don't need mosquito netting. And a lot of the mosquito netting they make for tents and hammocks, you're looking at eight to 10 to 12 to 16 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of extra weight to carry, and it only has one use where the schmog can be mosquito protection, and um, I can use it as a head wrap. I can use it to wet it down in the desert around my neck to keep me cool. I can string this up as a quickie uh, rest when I want to take a rest in the desert in the heat to as an instant shade in places that don't have shade. So, um, a good investment. This ran me. I went to a military surplus store in Burbank, California, and this was uh, 12 $12.99. I got a green one for the uh, forest and I got a, uh, a tactical tan for the desert. So um, one of each. So anyway, that's it. I uh, hope that gives you some ideas about thinking about how to stay warm. And, you know, again, like I said, the hammock, you can make a shelter out of it, make a tent out of it. So it's got multi, multi, multi uses. And it's, and it's also a bivy if you go to ground. So hammock, bivy, and tent in one for 8.5 ounces. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, see you guys on the trail. Bye.